Cool. Uh, just tell us who you are and where we are and what the name of your shop is. Okay. <laughs> Name's uh, Tim Heitkotter or Uncle Tim Heitkotter and uh, we're uh, sitting on the deck of my house in uh, Kapa'a, Hawaii and the island of Kauai and the name of my shop is Studio or sh is a uh, blue tiki <laughs> tattoo <laughs> in Hanalei, the beautiful town of Hanalei, Kauai. And you used to have one called st st uh, Yeah. <laughs> it's happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. And that was how long ago? Uh, Studio 13, uh, I sold that to my ex, uh, let me see, f five years ago. Okay. I'm just going to ask you just a, a question, see where this goes, and that is, how did you get the name Uncle Tim? Uh, you really want to know? Yeah. I'll tell you. It was actually, it was a, uh, I was watching a porno with my girlfriend, and there was a guy on there named Uncle Bob. Right, and he was doing particularly nasty things to this little Catholic girl in a pleated skirt, and my girlfriend hated it. And she has such anger issues with men that I went out the next day and had some cards printed up that said Uncle Tim. And that's where it came from. Really? Yes. And uh, yeah, that's... nothing deeper than that. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> just, pretty cool. Just to get even with her. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Uh, it would seem to me that you. This is an island paradise, certainly, and. You're here, and there's very few shops here, and I'm sure both because I don't know if the population would support it, or it's remote. I mean, you've got to go over some one-way bridges and everything to get to you. You're not in the middle of anything. You're at the you're at the end road of something, and uh, the people that drive by are usually people on the way to see something for the day and then go home. So you have. Tour, tourists is a, is a good trait for you, right? Yeah, it's probably a good 70, 80 percent of our businesses. They just see you in that little mall you're in, and yeah. and come up and say hi. We're just looking, and yeah. and that's yeah. They want to get a little turtle or a little hibiscus to commemorate. And some people are serious collectors, and they you mostly uh, know us through the internet, you know, through my website. Right. And they come out, and some of them are my West Coast regulars that come out too. They'll fly out to get work done. Because if they, if someone comes to this island, which is, as they call it, the Garden Island, if people come to this island and they're into tattooing, they would naturally come by and see you. Oh, yeah. Because sure. it's in the, one of the prettiest parts of the island. Yes. And, and how many total shops are there in? Uh, there's seven shops. One just opened up a month ago. I think they're from Seattle. Right. But uh, they're all very good artists here. They're all very good. And they all have their little sections. You know, um, Kapa'a here is the heaviest population, so there's three shops in here in Kapa'a. Uh -huh. We're the only shop on the North Shore because, frankly, I don't think it would support another shop. Right, right. Yeah. And you have you have someone who works for you steadily, or you have like Sailor Cam is was with you this time. He's visiting. Yes, he's he's a guest artist and a friend of mine that I met at the conventions and through mutual friends. But he was here and helps me uh, watch the shop while I travel. And I have another guy named Kevin Bays who works on the. Big Island. B A Y S base. B A Y S, yeah. yeah. He's a very good artist, been tattooing about four years. And well, he was at that party last night. Yes. Yeah. yeah. He comes over and he'll tattoo. He'll be back next month and he's trying to move here permanently in January. Yeah. So I'm slowly building a new crew. Right. And a new reputation for yes. the, the shop, as I understood, had, uh, had problems in that direction because of. Uh, the partnership, or was it a partnership, or yeah, it was a, it was a partnership. We, yeah, you know, well, that happened. Suffered an unsavory reputation. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, you've certainly survived. And why did you come? Why did you come here? Uh, I came here to visit uh, my friend who owned the shop at the time, just on a ruse. I was going to buy a shop on Maui, and it, the deal fell through. So I came here for the day to visit uh, Andrea, and uh, I just fell in love with it. You know, I'd already made commitments to tattoo up and down the Caribbean, so I went ahead and took care of those commitments. And then a year later, I ended up moving here, buying into the shop. And now, of course, I own all of it. Well, you were you were in Bermuda or something? Yeah, I was in Bermuda. I went from there. I went to the Caymans. I went to uh, let's see, went to Bahamas. I went to uh, Puerto Rico, um, Saint Martin. And the day I got there, the guy who owned the shop died, so that didn't last. Yeah. Long. And then I ended up in St. Thomas, and then that's where I was living before I moved here. Well, it seems to me that the clientele that you would see in all of those places, including here, is just ripe for relatively medium or small size, beautifully done, very legible. You know what it is. It's not too complicated. It's not the same old thing. 
you do really, really good stuff like that. I mean, you do really great five-hour tattoos, you know, that have real substance to it that I see. You know, I mean, you got the best sugar skulls, and but that, but but they're all the thing is they're all different. They're not your, you know, Tim Sugar Skull. I mean, I haven't seen you you duplicate one. I don't know if you do duplicate them. No, I don't duplicate. I try not to duplicate any of the designs, and even if they do pick a design that I've done before, I try to rearrange it or redraw it for them, so I, everybody gets somewhat of an original, even if right. it's the same design. But well, the one that's fascinating that I really saw is you, you call them tribal bouquets uh, or something. It's yeah. basically a tribal design out of which blossoms local flowers, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, flowers or sometimes palm trees, sometimes some finger waves. You know, I try to mix it up. Yeah. No. And and is that again? Did, did I describe it right? Yeah. I mean, those great. You know, they they have. You're not just pick. It's not just another skull like yeah. God knows, or another uh, a koi fish. It's it's something original. Yeah, I try to be different. I try to mix all kinds of different imagery. I try to mix uh, any Ibon custom culture, uh, Mexican folk art, uh, South American stuff, Hawaiian, you know, Samoan, Tahitian, whatever I can get and mix it all together. Right. I just, you know, I. I just like to mix stuff up. You know, yeah. I don't like doing what everybody else is doing. Yeah. It bores me. Yeah. You know? Well, we can't have that. But the tribal bouquets, I like those because it's something new and it's something that can be done in one sitting. Yeah, that's a, yeah, or, Rel or at the most too. Yeah, uh, relatively inexpensive. Yeah. You know, and these tourists they come in, and if they don't come in sunburn, we spend a few hours on them. We give them something really great that they can take with them when yeah. they leave, and they all come back. Is that satisfying to you rather than most people are only satisfied when they do major, big, huge, you know, seven session back pieces and things like that? Uh, I don't do a lot of big work. I do have a few big pieces that are out there and some that are under construction right now. But, uh, you know, I like a good three or four hour sitting. It's more satisfying for me. Yeah. Because I get to see the results now. You know? Oh, that makes sense, yeah. yeah. I get to see it all done, and they're happy, I'm happy. It's, you know, I try to do stuff that's kind of in-your-face tattooing. Right. You know, because I like it bold and powerful and strong, and, you know, and I like to layer a lot of colors with a lot of contrast in between the color values. Yeah. To really make it pop, as they say. Yeah. I like it to punch you in the face from across the street. <laughs> is, is, the, the, is the temperament of this, uh, of this island, I mean, if they have enough shops will it kind of level off there or is it man eat man girl eat girl or whatever no, we all we all do really i think fairly well here we all have a certain way of doing things you know some people do things in a more traditional way some of them put their own tweaks to it but they all uh, they all pretty much have their own styles we don't really talk or interrelate there's a little bit of jealousy here mm -hmm. some insecurity because a lot of these people are, are new and haven't been tattooing very long yeah not as long as I have, but uh, but basically we just keep to ourselves and you know we do good work. Everybody does work. I, you know, yeah. very rarely do I see any substandard work. Is there any uh, uh, conceivable thing that would happen that would make you want to leave Hawaii? Uh, <coughs> well, not really. I mean, unless I just get bored with it here, you know, I want to move someplace else. I mean, beauty is where you find it. I want to be surrounded by beauty wherever I live. So you wouldn't go back to a big city? No, no, not really. Maybe for a guest spot or something, but no, I don't think so. Yeah. 